Hey guys, welcome back to the Small Sound Creators Podcast. Thank you for joining us. Um, so as you can see, this video, we're going to be doing Oscar predictions. Obviously, the Oscars is, as uh, as the time of filming, Oscars is going to be in one week's time. Yes. So we just wanted to get our predictions in, see what we get right when the Oscars come out. We're going to do another video talking about that too later on. But um, I'm going to give Hashi the reins for this most of this one because he has a lot to say about the Oscars and he's seen most of the movies that are in these nominations yep. obviously um, but before we do that guys make sure you like comment subscribe all that good stuff on youtube and hit the bell so you know when the videos are coming up and uh yeah just give us five stars on the dsp um my name is mo okay no, I'm let's, let's go. go all right let's go first one we ain't got much time guys so sorry about that we're going to try and get through these as quick as we can best picture the nominations top gun maverick women talking everything everywhere all at once the Banshees of Inner Sharon, Triangle of Sadness, The Fablemans, All Quiet on the Western Front, Avatar The Way of Water, Elvis, and Tar. And Tar. Is it usually 10? It's usually, it can be up to 10, because okay. it used to be 5, but then that was a year where people were really upset that Dark Knight didn't get nominated, so they then increased it to 10, up, up to 10, so it can be like 6 or 8 or whatever. Well, I'm going to let you take over. Talk to us about Best Picture, Ash. And what's the prediction? Last year was a great year for movies, I think. I think, for me, a, a lot of the movies that came out last year were fantastic. Even there's loads of honourable mentions we, talk, we, we talked about on our top five that could have easily been included, like Woman King, stuff like that. Um, there's a couple of movies here that shouldn't, that weren't really that good. Elvis being one of them. Um, Elvis was, like, again, a very rudimentary film. Again, very white savorish when it didn't really have to be. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> There's literally a scene in that movie where B.B. King says, take black music to Elvis, which is so strange. If you, if you think about it, it's just very, very strange. Um, and then Woman Talking, I felt that there was a real opportunity to make that more of an engaging film, like similar to kind of 12 Angry Men. And it, it really kind of didn't really... It felt short. Yeah, it just felt short. Yeah. Um, Tar is fantastic. I really love Tar. You guys really know that. Yeah. Avatar. Oh, Avatar. Again, we, we, I loved it. I'll name the movies. Let's just quick. What do you think? Anyway? Yeah. All on the Western Front. Again, really good movie. I felt the original was better. Top tier. No, I, I think that was top tier. I was saying, yeah. Uh, the Fablemans. Fablemans, really good movie. Again, Kem. That's, that's, that's a movie aficionados because you know what? I watched it recently. Yeah. He, I really like it. As an editor, really you must have loved like that. You know, oh, yeah, 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 really, really nice. like it. And this is I, on the back of Babylon. Yeah, I went and watched yeah, it. Yeah. And if, if I didn't watch Babylon, Babylon I, I don't think I would have enjoyed it as much as I did. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, yeah. yeah. Triangle of Sadness. Triangle of Sadness. Really fun. Great kind of wonderful movie about Eat the Rich. Can One I, can of I, the best. Can I just say, well, I just want to cut it short. Yeah. For me, there's only two movies on here that it's out of, in my predictions. What's do you know what? Let's three, three, three. Let's three, do three. it like that. What do you think is out? Maverick, Avatar. Even it, it, I'm just saying, mm-hmm. not, uh, Maverick, Avatar, and um, everything, everything everywhere. everywhere all at once. And what's it out for you? Banshees. Uh-huh. Everything everywhere all at once and Maverick. Okay. And I'll tell you, what, I'll tell you what will win and what I hope would win. Because well, we'll, we'll, because I'll tell you what I think will win. I think what I think will win, I think Elvis will win. If that wins, I'll, I'll be so Unfortunately, I actually think Elvis will win. But what I want to win and what I think is the most deserving for me personally is everything everyone will win. So, so no, do, do not worry. That's exactly what's going to win. Trust me. That's what I think. I it, all the awards, all the awards, all the precursors to Oscars, yes. Everything everywhere has absolutely sweeped. It's, so it it's looking thing. like it's a consensus. Sometimes, well, sometimes I, that happens though. They're I, sweeping all the other ones. Yeah. Yeah. This one. They don't but you know what? No, I, I wholeheartedly believe everything, everything should win this. Yeah. I do but too. something in me is saying that Maverick is going to sneak. Yeah, yeah, again, I wouldn't be shocked if that happened. But for me, I want Banks' and Sharon to win. Because no, I, I, I connected with that movie and love that movie so much, honestly. So fair your enough. prediction is Banshees. Yours is? Uh, prediction. Prediction, Maverick. Maverick. I want, I want everything, but Maverick, Maverick, I think Maverick. I've got everything everywhere I want. All right, next category, best actor. Best so actor. We have Brendan Fraser for The Whale, mm-hmm. Austin Butler for Elvis, Colin Farrell for The Banshees of Venus Sharon, Bill Nye for Living, and Paul Mescal for After Sun. Yeah, I, can I, can I, can I, 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 I think um, this one 
is a Brandon Fraser because the build up to this movie. I think the build-up was so prolonged. He's primed well. to win this. He is prime. Yeah, if yeah. he doesn't win this, there's going to be there's going to be some sort of there's going to be talk because based on what reviews and his performance was, like people were crying. Who do you want to win? Brendan Fraser. Yeah. What about you? For me, the well was a, like a really. I really did not like that movie. What performance, bro? Because it's about best. It's about performance. It's about best actor. You have the to performance, yeah. The, 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 the performance was good. Yeah. But what Colin Farrell did, what um, what Austin Butler did, as much as I didn't like the movie, was he was good. He, was good. he, he gave, gave us everything for that role. Yeah. And he by the way, to the point that it stuck with him. <laughs> yeah. And by the way, he's he's been he's been he's yeah yeah. Did you not know for a long time that was Tom Hanks? What? What Colonel Tom? Colonel, what do you call it? Where's the snowman? Colonel Buck, wow. I had no clue. Because I didn't know who was in the movie, yet, except Austin Butler. That's hilarious. And then after his mother, I was like, oh shit. Like, That's yeah. a moment right there. Yeah, definitely a moment, yeah. Um, but I think the way Austin Butler's been campaigning, like like keeping the kind of weird Elvis accent and yeah. stuff like that, it's just really it's intentional. Of course, could try and keep the kind of, you know, in like the older voters' I mind. Mean, I never looked at it like that. Yeah. It, he's, he's a seasoned but campaigner, then. I yeah, never by the way, like that. there's a lot of older Oscar voters that love that kind of stuff. You like After Sun too, what do you think of Paul Mescal? Paul Mescal was really good. I'm glad he was nominated. Yeah. But I don't does think. Does have a nomination, I think? Yeah, it does have no nomination. Okay. For him to be recognised. But for me, Colin, Colin Farrell. Okay. Okay. Colin Farrell. I will say, for me personally, I would want. Yeah, my prediction is I would want Colin Farrell to win. No, Colin Farrell, brilliant, brilliant, yeah. but I'm not saying that I, I don't want him to win. Yeah. My prediction is that Brendan Fraser's going to win. Yeah, so hey, hey, no, hey, yeah. cool, bro. Um, um, best actress, can I lead this one? Go, go. go So ahead. the be- best actress. Yeah. So I quickly, think, let me just say, think, Andrew Rice, bro, for oh. Leslie, mm-hmm. Michelle Williams for Fableman, Kate Blanchett for Tar, mm-hmm. Anna de Armas for Blonde, and Michelle Yeoh for everything in real whatever. Yeah, Michelle Yeoh does not win this, yeah? Shit will burn. <laughs> I'm telling you now, yeah. The best performance I've seen from oh, I don't want to say the best performance I've seen last year. Yeah. Fair enough. I can't show be you that. Top tier. She was, cold. She was amazing. No, I already know what you think. I we already know. know. I think the audience and we all know. No, no, you'll, you'll be surprised. Okay. I love Michelle Yeoh, and I really, I hope she wins this award because yeah. she deserves it. But I actually think that Kate Blanchett will take I it. I thought you could, stop, stop saying Kate Blanchett, stop, stop saying that. Kate Blanchett? It's Kate Blanche. Huh? You're you not, you not saying Kate Blanchett? Blanchett? It's Kate Blanchett, honestly. I've always known her as Kate Blanche. Literally it's Kate Blanche. It's yeah, E-T-T. I know, but... And you pronounce it. No, it's Kate Blanchett. No, it's not! It 100% is Kate Blanchett. 100%. It is not! 100%. If I'm wrong... You're, You're wrong. wrong. If, if I'm wrong, wrong I, I'm, I happily put my hands up. Please look. I'll, I'll show you a video. Yeah, look, I'll show you a video I, of her. I, I, I her, her saying her own name. Like I don't say anything that says Blanche. It's Blanche. It's Blanche. Bro, 100%. you know I'm gonna have to look, to look this up while you are doing. Nah. Why you talk? Yeah. Anyway. Um, I want Michelle Yo to win. I think it will be out of her and Kate Blanchett though. Yeah, Kate, Kate Blanchett, Blanchett will win. One hundred percent. Yeah, but um, for me, who I want to win? Yeah, it's uh, Michelle. Yeoh. I think performance-wise, I, I love Michelle Yeoh's yeah. performance, but Kate Blanchett was yeah, absolutely she might be undeniable. It's, she did so, so much in that role. She yeah, yeah, she, she did so much in that role. It was such a good movie. And her her kind of participation is the reason why that movie was so great. Her performance is better than the movie. Can, 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 can I just yes, can that is a great way of, of, of playing. Yeah. What happened? Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, he, he was about to try and get us, by the way. No, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Because I genuinely believe it was Kate Blanche. That's I've always... Is Kate... I feel like there's another name of an actor that sounds similar to Kate Blanche. Uh, who knows? Who knows? Anyway, let's continue. Anyway, let's continue. Was, uh, next one is Best Animated Feature. Yep. So we've got Turning Red, Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio, Marcel, Marcel the Shell with shoes on, the Sea Beast, and Puss in Boots the last wish. I'm gonna say this right now. Give it to Puss in Boots immediately. Give that it movie to Puss in Boots. <laughs> that movie was cold. Brother. What? That movie was cold. Brother. <laughs> Bro, you know. Okay, okay concept, I, 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 I don't, don't want to get too much because we, we, we're, we're time restricted. Bro, I love the, I love death. 
chasing him. Listen, the animation for death was just cold. And you know who voiced him? Who? The guy who was Pablo Escobar in Narcos, and I thought it was perfect. Wagner Mora? Yeah. Yes, I thank you. Thank you for that, bro. Thank you. Thank you. And my thing is, yeah, <laughs> Pussy Boots, when Hashi told me, the, the concepts, concepts yeah. yeah. He told me, I was, I was like, Hashi, just tell me what it's about. I don't even want to, like, know too much, but I might watch it if I like the concept. He told me, okay, Puss has, um, is down to his last life. He had nine lives. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I said, Hashi, stop. Yeah. I said, stop. Yeah. I watched it the next day with my missus. I, we had the best time. Me, me and Caden watched it. Yeah, me and Caden watched it. Yeah. It was wicked. So good. <laughs> oh, I loved it. When, 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 he, when he was um, in the um, <laughs> cat asylum yeah. and he man grew his beard. <laughs> <laughs> The movie was brilliant! And the dog with the cat ears. <laughs> anyway. The movie was brilliant. Anyway, I, I think, think you, guys, you guys are kind of running with your heart, but I think Robinson, yeah. Orwin is either no, Marcel, yeah. the show with shoes on, which is a great movie, yeah. or... Um, yeah, with the Toros, no. yeah, yeah, which is a great... Yeah. And it, yeah. it had a great kind of, like, great kind of musical aspects. So I'm going to say this now. So it's going to be the Dark Horse that's going to win it. Pussy Moods. Pussy Moods. I want Pussy Moods too. I actually, I'm, I'm, I think Tony Red might win it, you know? Really? Maybe. No, not saying it's a good movie, whether it's a good movie or not, I've never really, uh, never really watched it, but there was a, there's, there's campaign behind it. Yeah, of course. It's, it's a Pixar movie, right? Or Disney. They'll, they'll campaign for it. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think what I would want to win is Marcel, the show with shoes on, but what most likely will win will be Pinocchio. I want Pussy Moods to win, man. That is just so cold. <laughs> so cool. And the wicked thing yet. Is it is it is it Jesse J is it Jesse, Jesse J um Goldilocks? Sounds like Jesse J. Goldilocks no Goldilocks is a Florence Pugh. Yeah. Bro. Florence Pugh. She's so someone's you know that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, 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 no. But yeah. Yeah. it's like the free bed like just, just to let you look know, know, yeah. No, 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 wait, 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 man, wait, Guys, wait. We wait, 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 yeah, we will, we will. I'm just saying. Like Ray Winter was one of our top tier from day one. Obviously, I know he slipped back into B boobies and everything, but Ray Winston's voice, his voice is just, it's so distinctive. Oh, man. Anyway, guys, you guys really love that. Yeah. It's so good. It is good. I'm glad I recommended that to you guys. Anyway, continue, let's continue. Uh, Best original song. (laughs) We've got Applause, which is from... This is too easy, guys, but let's continue. Tell it like a woman. I don't think I've seen that. Continue, continue. Hold my hand. I know what you, you, you would hear, but hey, listen, we all would hear. Hold it, my hand from Top Gun Maverick. Lift me up, Black Panther will come to forever. Natu Natu from R R R. That's one. That's one. And uh, this is a life from everything, everyone, all at once. What are you saying? I think it's lift me up for me, bro. That got me. The Black Panther one. That got me, bro. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. Even though, as I said before, I'm not a fan of the movie. Yeah. At first, I was. I think I was. It was a honeymoon period for me. It was a good movie, but looking back at it. The the things that um they left left a real impression on me on the movie was the the, the actual um the sound the the the, the, the tracks the soundtrack yeah alone by Burner Boy and lift me up by Rihanna they yeah. left it because they were the one who set the tone for emotions yeah not the actual movie the movie yes but they set the emotional tones yeah, yeah Burner Boy one was banging yeah. oh it's top two man um I wish I could. I have to go Natu Natu, man. Natu Natu was really good. Like, I don't know if you watched R, uh, but Natu Natu was... It's a really, really fun one, honestly. It's kind of crazy. You know what I mean? Sorry, guys. I just saw this. But uh, just, just for people watching, Man United are playing Liverpool right now. Yeah, me too. That's why my heart dropped. Um, yeah. So, uh, anyway, let's anyway, continue. I think, um, <laughs> my prediction, I think it's going to go to Natu Natu from R. Yeah. Um, all right. Next one. So that was best original song. We're not doing that one. So, so by the way, just, just for the audience, we're not going to do any of the below the line, just to, just in terms of time or or doing any of the. Uh, are we doing shorts? We're not doing the shorts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. are we doing international features? Yes, we are. All right, so we got All Quiet on the Western Front, Argentina, nineteen eighty-five, The Quiet Girl, Close, and Heal. I think it's primed for all Argentina to win. No, I thought it was All Quiet. But I think it's primed though for Argentina. So I think they've won from the past. Um, uh, shows, yes, it's um, looking that way. But for me personally, I would love EO to win. Okay. It's a very I kind of, it's a yeah. really interesting, fun movie about a donkey, basically. And it's, for me to say that that premise is a bit weird, mm-hmm. but the movie really works and you're really, really emotionally invested. In. Mm. It was a great movie. I really enjoyed it, man. Like, and the cinematography, believe it or not, is really, really good in that movie. 
So, if you, you haven't watched that one, I definitely recommend it to the audience because it was a really, really great watch for me. Yeah, <laughs> um, from that list, personally, all I've seen is all kind of wrestling fun, mm. and it was top tier. Mm. But I ain't got no fight this season, okay. so. Best director? Is it your best director? Best director, yeah. So we've got Mac, Ma- Martin McDonough for Blanches of Inisherin, Todd Field for Tar, Ruben Oslin for Triangle of Sadness. This is brilliant. This is brilliant. <laughs> Daniel, Daniel, they want Daniel, Daniel Kwan and Daniel Shiner for Everything Everywhere All At Once and Steven Spielberg for The Fableman. I imagine you're going to go for... Oh, everything. Ah, I yeah. thought you were going to go Fableman's. No, 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 no. Fableman's brilliant. Cool. But I, I said, everything All At Once. Yeah. yeah. For me, like, yeah, what they did with everything over all at once and the budget that they had for that movie... And the ingenuity. Yeah, it has to be. They deserve it the most. What I think will happen is that they'll win Best Director, and I hope they do, and something else will win Best Picture. I think. Maybe Banshee. That's That's why I think, to kind of, like, play kick to everyone, isn't it? But But I think most of these are actually deserving. Yeah, yeah. It wouldn't shock me if Steven Spielberg wins, because he's been campaigning campaigning really hard, Mm. because he He wants to be rewarded for the story of his life, basically. So, so don't be surprised by that, but... I, f- I, f- I think it's not... I, f- I don't yeah. think it's close. Like, guys, can I... I, c- I don't think it's close. Guys, clear out the paint for me, by the way. Yeah, best supporting actor? No. Oh, what? Nope should be here. Nope should be in this awards season. For best director or for best picture? Jordan Peele should be here, you man. If... Because, by the way, the way Nope got snubbed, you man. The, no, Cam, no, don't give me that face. I didn't see nothing. Don't give me that... I didn't see nothing. I know that face. Look at Cam, look at Cam. I know that face. I'm not... When I look at the list of it, I'm not mad at it, I don't think. That, that, that nope was not included and yeah. snubbed completely. No, no, I think, yeah, I'm not mad at your assessment of nope being, like, I think it, you're kind of correct. Because he directed an amazing movie, a top tier movie that will be remembered. You know what I mean? In the annals of time! Brother, I'm sorry to tell you, it's not there! It's not there, so let's move on to Best Supporting Actor. Again. Brendan Gleeson, Banshee's been sharing, Brian Tyree Henry for Causeway. I haven't seen that. Yeah, not neither yeah. have I. John Hirsch for the Fablemans, Barry Keon for the Banshees of Inisherin, and Katie Kwan. Everything I've ever done once. Look, you know, I, 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 yeah. Is that what you're saying? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, no, I just, I, I just, I don't think you realize. We are so in the bag. Really? Let me tell you something. Have you seen Banshees yet? I've seen um, Jerry Lynn and Okay, cool, fine. But I'm just saying, yeah. if you saw Barry Keon's performance in that. For me personally, I think he does no, But that's why that's why interesting I'm interesting you say I, that. I think, Very interesting. I think he was when it comes to supporting actress actors in the movies last year, he's the one where I came out of the movie being like, yo, he was so good. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I that's my prediction. Very clear. Okay. For me, it's Brandon Gleason. He was so incredible. I was calling him. Really, really good performance. He was good. He just didn't blow me away. He had a lot to do though. Because yeah. he had to be kind of standoffish but at the same time like he's still a good guy like he wants to do right by him but he wants to live a meaningful life and, and for that he has to do what he has to do kind of thing and i thought him communicating that on the screen was really compelling man it was such a great performance but he won incredible that story is incredible and most likely he will win you know what i mean like by the way just just a quick one on judd hirsch in the Fablemans. fantastic what do you call it monologue that won him, that, that basically won him the nomination. Basically talking about art and what it is to be an artist. It was so amazing, you know what I mean? Like, and I really, really loved that. Like, that, that, that kind of monologue and that performance mm-hmm. by John Hirsch. Yes. You're going with Katie Kwan. Yeah. You're going with Barry Okay, okay. So, I'm, I'm looking at Best Supporting Actress. Is that what we're on now? Yeah. Well, yeah this is a massive, massive one. one. Shall I tell you, this uh, is a massive yeah. one. This is easy. This no, is easy. No, can, I, can I say my piece? Go on. Angela Bassett sets bar. Let me just say, Wait, what, don't, don't just say all the nominations are. So we've got Angela Bassett for Black Panther Wakanda Forever, Kerry Condon for The Benches of Inner Sharon, Jamie Lee Curtis for Everything Every All At Once, Stephanie Hsu for Everything All At Once, and Hong Chao for The Whale. Okay. Kevin, go ahead. Stephanie Hsu yeah. deserves it. I agree. But, but Miss Bas- Bassett. Yes. Like, they're taking everything. everything. Yeah. I can't even they're, they're taking everything. Yeah. Look, look, it's all gone. They're taking all my, it's all gone. Yeah. <laughs> Bro. I have to but Stephanie. She 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 have you seen her outtake? Have you seen her um her audition? Yeah. Her, her audition, yeah. Incredible. Incredible. Bro. Bro. And this is the thing, it's like Angela Bassett was so good, but I think Stephanie Shu had to work with more. She had to do more different things than Angela Bassett had to do in her role. So I think that's why I feel like she deserved it. Oh no no no, yeah. Stephanie Shu deserved this. Yeah. 
but obviously Angela, Angela Bassett, Bassett like she, you know what? She showed pedigree. She showed she she showed pedigree and she showed she showed she showed, she showed range. But Stephanie Shu, she she she, she dug this out the bag. She dug. She went. You know. You know. You know the crumbs at the bottom of the crisp packet. She went and yeah. She she, she, she went like that. She she deserves it. Angela Bass, I'm sorry. Angela I'm sorry. I, I don't. Fair enough. I, 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 there's not much I have to say. I just she blew me away. Fair I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I can't even. Can't, I was going to have to see what his predictions are. Right. Yeah. Anyway, best original score. We're nearly done, guys. Um, Justin Herbert with Babylon. Sun Lux with everything ever all at once. Carl Burwell with the Manchester of Sharon. John Williams, the Fableman, and Volker. Bertelman, all quiet on the Western Front. Now, I'm this gonna, is I'll very go first. This is very hard. This is tough. Not for me. I think for me, the one that stands out the most when I look at this list is Babylon. So for me, I'm going to have to go for that. And I think it's like, I actually enjoyed the song. Voodoo Mama is mad. Yeah, it's, as well as it's it fitting bang. in the movie, I enjoyed it as well. Mm. So I will go with Babylon. Ken, what you Yeah, no, no, no. Same. Babylon, Hashi. For me, it's Babylon, but I just want to kind of give some honourable mentions because Babylon was amazing. Babylon is it's it's a real like earworm or whatever the expression is. But West, what kind of Western Front? That that kind of light motif that kept, that kept on going throughout the film on those kind of those couple of notes was really really affecting. I thought that um, it was it was it was so good. There was another. Uh, what was the other nominations? Uh, Babylon, everything everywhere all at once. Banshees, Fablemans, and all quiet. Fablemans was good, but yeah, I think it was all quiet was really good. But I think ba all quiet was good. But Banshees was really kind of like forlorn and kind of like really used violins really well, really really really, really well in that. But yeah, Babylon was fantastic. Cool. Um, so we're, not, we're not doing best animated short film, so I got think we have got two different original screenplay and adapted screenplay. Yeah. So original screenplay we've got everything at all at once. Banshees even a Sharon, Triangle of Sadness, Fablemans, and Tar. I mean, my favorite movie of the year was Everything Everywhere All at mm. Once, and a big part of it was because of the screenplay and how yeah. they did, like, the concept of the movie. And, and the multi. How the script was, all that stuff. Yeah, the way yeah. they did multiverse, everything. So for me personally, I'm going to <coughs> have to go with that one. So, so in terms of the screenplay, the only one I feel like touches it is Banshees. I, by but the way, that, that's, that's it's really, really uh, interesting to say that because I read. Both I've read both Banshees and um, Everything Everywhere. Everything Everywhere is such what, the screenplay. Yeah, yeah I've read the screenplay. Yeah. You I read that, yeah. yeah, I, I love reading screenplays. I love seeing different stuff in screenplays. Some of the formatting stuff that they do in Everything Everywhere is incredible. Mm -hmm. It's so, it's so it's such a fun read, mm -hmm. and that's what you want from a screenplay. Though, just a really good read, something engaging for the reader, and original screenplay is meant to be something that is out of the box, something that's new, something that pushes the form. And that's what everything everyone does. Yeah. So, so if that doesn't win, I'll be really shocked. Sure. But Banshees is a really fun read as well. Yeah. It's really good. And by the way, it was only like 98 pages. We're the same one, though. Not you know what I mean? So everything everywhere. Yeah, Bro. definitely. Same thing? Same thing. Hey. Let's go. Last one, guys, before we wrap it up. Best adapted screenplay. Now, I think, okay, this one's cool. So we've got Living, uh, which is by Kazuo Ishiguro. Yeah. Uh, we've got Top Gun Maverick, which the screenplay was done by Christopher McQuarrie and a few others. Yep. Women Talking by Sarah Polly, Glass Onion and Eyes Are Mystery, which is Ryan Johnson, I'm surprised to see that there. Mm. And All Quiet and Rest and Front, which was done by Edward Berger, L. Patterson and John Stockwell. So, Hashi, what do you think? This? What's your prediction? For, for me, for me, I thought Glass, Glass Onion was a really good script. Yeah. A really fun, peppy movie that like, kept on moving forward. Really, really, really good movie. Mm -hmm. But Top, Top Gun, Gun, obviously being adapted, adapted from the first one, being, being such, such a fantastic movie, movie, will probably win this. So yeah, yeah. that's, yeah, Kevin, go ahead. Yeah. Top Gun? I want to... Uh, I'm going to say, say Top, Top Gun. Gun. Yeah. All quite in the Western Front, I reckon, will, will like, like, maybe, sure maybe sneak, sneak in. in. Yeah. But yeah. if I'm yeah. being honest with yeah. myself, Top Gun will take it. Yeah, personally, I think it is out of those two. Top Gun and, well, for me at least, mm -hmm. all quite a rest in front of Top Gun. I think Top Gun, I'll edge it to Top Gun only because you're doing a sequel for a movie that was in the 80s, and for you to come up with a screenplay good enough to keep people engaged yeah, for a cool. movie that people don't really want. Yeah. Because initially you look at these like oh, sequels from these movies or remakes mm -hmm. or whatever, you don't want that. Mm -hmm. For them to have a screenplay that will keep you as engaged as this one, 
I think it's just because it's on Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally agree. But, um, yeah. yeah, guys, that was our Oscar predictions. We're going to be back after the Oscars to see who got the predictions right and talk about the winners and maybe talk a bit more in depth about snubs and things like that because Hash is really passionate about that one. Oh, 100%. Yeah, so, um, but yeah, no, this was a good one. Thank you guys for listening to this uh, Oscar prediction episode. I uh, hope to see you guys next time. Join us for the other videos. And yeah, thank you for listening. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Ping the bell so you see the notifications for when the videos come up so you don't miss them. And uh, give us five stars on the DSPs. Peace. Cool. Peace.